Guys, Kevin Auto Black, just a quick video just to show you how to restore and look after your plastic trim. So obviously a lot of you guys out there, especially if you've got things like minis, have got a lot of exterior plastics trim. So on this car we've got exterior plastics all the way around the bottoms of the doors, front and rear bumper, both wheel arches, all unpainted plastics, obviously prone to fading, prone to getting white. Um, this process I'm going to show you, there's a couple of steps to it. You don't have to do every step every time you do it, but I'm just going to show you what you might do and why you do it. So the first product I'm going to use, might be a bit of a surprise to people, is Cherry Glaze. So what's Cherry Glaze? Cherry Glaze is an all-in-one, so it's a polish, a uh, filler and a wax. Now you would normally use this on paintwork, so it's really good for rejuvenating paintwork. However, because it is a water-based product that doesn't mark plastics, we can actually use this to clean our plastic trims. So prior to using this, what I would normally advise you to do is go through the wash process as normal. So this car has been completely washed, um, pre-washed, snow foam. It's had fallout remover and tar and glue remover as well, just to make sure that I've got all the loose dirt off these plastic trims that I can. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of cherry glaze to an applicator. And then all I'm going to do is just work it in. Now I'm hoping you'll see this afterwards, but I will show you. Okay, so straight away you might look at that and think, yeah, that's done. That's done a really good job. Let's brought that back up. I'll show you really closely, can you see? So because the exterior trim, because this is actually um, textured, unless you've gone to the trouble of using uh, something like a brush to scrub it or something as you've done your, your prep stages, there will be an element of dirt still in the texture on the plastic. So the abrasive and the cherry layer just helps to lift that. It clears the pores and then gives you a nice smooth surface to work on. So I could leave that. So cherry glaze on its own will restore the trim. It'll last a couple of weeks. Um, so you might think, okay, while I'm doing the paintwork, I'm just gonna do, use cherry glaze on the exterior plastics as well. And that's me done, don't need to do anything else. So once I've applied that, I'm just gonna buff it down because I want to put something else on top of that. So yes, cherry glaze does contain an element of wax. So you don't have to do this step every time. But if your plastics are particularly dirty or they've not been done before, it might be something that you would consider doing. So the next product and the most obvious choice is Abyss. So Abyss, again, is a synthetic paint sealant, normally used on paintwork. Gives you a really good protection on paintwork as well, so it's around about six to nine months. But we're gonna use it on plastics. So a lot of you probably already familiar with this on plastics. Really good product. It will soak into the plastics, it restores the color and it protects as well. It gives it a nice hydrophobic uh, effect and it doesn't run when it rains. So normal exterior plastic dressings, if you apply them and it rains pretty soon after, you will get runs. This, you don't get that. So tiny little amount is needed. So, so small you can very just about see it on that applicator. And then I'm just gonna apply it over the top of the cherry glaze section that I just did. And obviously because this is a paint sealant as well, you don't have to worry too much about getting it on the paintwork as long as you buff off any uh, residue um, or you could actually use it on both at the same time. Okay, so just gonna work that in. And again, I don't need to buff that off. That will soak into the trim. Just gonna remove them a second. And there you go. <clears throat> nice, restored, protected, hydrophobic trim dressing. So Abyss on its own, if I hadn't done the cherry glaze, would have offered a similar result. You just might not get quite as deep a finish, depending on the amount of dirt that's in the plastics. Um, but Abyss on exterior plastics, fantastic product. Um, definitely one of the best in the AD range. Something that you definitely need in your arsenal if you've got a lot of exterior unpainted plastics. Cheers guys, catch you later. For more information, please visit our website or come and see us in store. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe and let us know down in the comments what you would like to see in our next video.